this feels almost more real, if that makes any sense, than graphic design. Like, I love doing graphic design, and I love drawing on my iPad and, what, and my tablet, everything like that, but this feels more tangible to me. Yeah. Tattooed yourself, huh? Yep, just tattooed myself. And is it your first tattoo? Second, on skin. So you're doing an apprenticeship right now? Yes. So what did you uh, do on yourself? I did this little rose, new or old school rose. I'm gonna shade it next. So how did it feel tattooing yourself? Ah, uh, not as bad as I thought it would actually. <laughs> Like, I thought it would be worse. It might be worse with the shading. I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. So you're still going to shade that one? Still going to shade it. Awesome. So, I want it to look like a complete piece rather than just something. <laughs> I mean, it'd be, it looked fine as is, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Is that the first tattoo you've done on somebody or? Um, second one on skin. First yeah. one I actually did on brick. <laughs> so, this is my second one. What made you go with the rose? Um, it's something I've been practicing with and it's something I've been drawing for a long time, honestly. Like, my first photorealism piece in college was a big rose, like a big close-up of a rose. So, I feel like it's kind of almost an homage to that. <laughs> What's the meaning behind the tattoo? Is there like symbolism behind that particular tattoo? Did you want to do a rose on yourself, or? Um, not necessarily, but I kind of, I kind of identify with the idea of just like blooming with like now thirty-one. I'm thirty-one now. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, finally feeling like I'm coming into my own kind of space. If that makes sense with especially with tattooing like I've always been artistic but I've always done jobs that were more analytical more medical more scientific uh, but I feel like I'm really coming into my own being a tattoo artist or apprentice so I identify with that so I, did, I originally did the drawing right side up uh, applied the stencil upside down, or technically Rat applied the stencil for me, so I did it upside, right side up, so that way it would look correct when I actually stand. So I won't be doing it upside down and it won't look like it's upside down. <laughs> and then how did you get into, um, how did you meet Fifth? How did you get into getting the apprenticeship? Uh, Boomer is actually my brother-in-law. <laughs> my sister is his, is his girlfriend, so I've known him for about as long as she's known him, so like, what, 13 years, something like that, more than that. So, I, he's been telling me I should be a tattoo artist for a long time, and I just finally started listening. <laughs> Took a little bit, but I'm there now. 